The PSP20 is tested to the ASME A112 19.17 standard. It's recognized by the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission as an automatic pump shutoff system to meet VGBA requirements in backing up a single submerged suction outlet. The PSP20 is fast and easy to install and provides nuisance trip free operation. The PSP20 is installed between the power supply breaker and the pump motor. Turn off all associated electrical supplies. Choose an appropriate location and secure the PSP20 to the wall using the supplied four metal brackets. Carefully drill an appropriate sized hole in the PSP20 enclosure. Disconnect the existing pump power conduit and wires from the supply breaker and install the existing conduit connection between the enclosure and pump motor. Run new supply wires and a ground wire from the supply breaker and install a new piece of conduit from the breaker to the PSP20. Terminate these new supply wires to the L1 and L2 terminals inside the enclosure. Terminate the ground wire to the provided ground terminal. For single phase installations, insert the provided link between the L2 and L3 terminals. Terminate the L1 and L2 wires to the circuit breaker. In the case of three phase power, also terminate L3. Close the breaker door, but do not turn on the breaker. Terminate the existing T2 wire going to the pump to the T3 terminal on the bottom of the PSP20's contactor. Terminate the 12 inch length of appropriately sized wire to the T1 terminal on the bottom of the contactor. Take the other end of this wire and pass it through the center of the current transducer. The number of passes of wire through the center is determined by the full load amps of the motor and the associated chart in the manual. For example, a single phase 208-220 volt AC application using a one horsepower motor requires two passes through the current transducer. If it were a half horsepower motor, increase the passes to four. For this application, we're passing the wire through twice. Splice the end of this wire to the existing T1 wire going to the pump motor. It's important that the current transducer be installed in the T1 phase. Note that the direction through the current transducer is not important. Programming the PSP20 takes less than two minutes and involves just four steps. Press the Next button until window 41 is shown. Press the plus or minus buttons to program the appropriate horsepower rating of the motor and press the enter button. Now go to window 42 using the next button. Press the plus or minus buttons to program the motor's full load amps and press the enter button. Go to window 43 and confirm that it displays the appropriate phase supply to the motor. Before proceeding, be sure that the filter does not require backwashing and perform it now if required. Press and hold down the Auto Set button for three seconds until the word Set appears in the display. Okay. After the pump has been running for longer than three minutes, close the skimmer valve if present and block the drain using the main drain valve or by blocking the drain cover. Note that you should never suddenly block the drain. Close the valve or block the drain slowly. This avoids a potentially dangerous water hammer from shattering the piping. If you have questions or comments, feel free to call us at 866-663-9060 or visit our website at usa-emetron.com.